You're watching Insight, a North Shore Schools instructional technology episode. Hi, I'm Stephanie Penrod. I'm one of the NSD Elementary TOSAs. I'm going to walk you through the updated NSD Master Flip Charts for math today. To get to those flip charts, I'm going to start at the Elementary Teacher's Toolbox and move to the Math Toolbox. When I arrive at the Math Toolbox, I'm going to go to my grade level. For today, I'm going to work with second grade, and I'm going to come down here to where there are the NSD Master Flip Charts, choose my unit, which will have a zipped file with all of my lessons for that unit in it. I'm being asked for my username and password, and these are the same that I use for my NSD email. I'm going to choose to save the file, and I'm going to save it here on my desktop. I'm going to not open it from my downloads folder, but come out here and find the little zipper, double click, find the folder, and open that. For kindergarten, first, and second grade, you'll notice that when you open your units, you have a specific flip chart for that unit's daily routines. Each lesson has a flip chart. I'm going to open lesson three. These new NSD flip charts, the goal was to maintain a focus on the students as the audience. So you'll find the teacher information over here in the notes browser. And here you'll find information about where we can go in the teacher's manual, what other information you might need for within this lesson. When I come to um, primary, you'll find a page for quick practice if there is one. Otherwise, you'll note that there was an extra note for that in the notes browser. And then when I come to the activities, when I'm as I'm planning, I want to come over here and choose to take this to 50%. This allows me to see the world or the space outside of the flip chart page. And student items have been placed out there so they don't take up a lot of space on the page and we can focus on what I want my students to be working with. So if I choose to pull this item in as I'm planning, I will also notice that there's a manipulative tray down here at the bottom. And that is just an area where any item is a drag a copy that might support students in working with this problem. When I'm coming to activity two, I'm noticing that the notes give me some tips on what other resources I have in my teacher's manual. It also lets me know that out here in the world, I have a second manipulative tray that I can choose. And I can choose to pull this up if I feel that my students might benefit from the visual for each of these problems. Student items from the activity book have been isolated and made containers so that any writing I do on here will stay when I move it. The items have also been placed in the world so that I can choose to control click and duplicate this page so that I have a second page to work with. Sometimes you'll notice that student items have been placed right on the page, but they move freely so that I can choose whether I'm going to use it with my class or not. The final page of each flip chart has a colored background and a homework page, which is also a container so that if I am choosing to have students skip or not do any items, I can mark that on there and know that when I move it back over here for my end of my planning time, it's ready and the writing will go with it for when I give the actual assignment. Now that I've finished my planning, I want to switch my view back to what I want students to see. So I'm going to come back up here and change this back to best fit. 
Then as I work with my students, I'll be able to move things over that I've put on the side or have pages tailored for the area I want them to see. I'll also close my notes browser so that I have that information for myself, but they have the maximum amount of space for their work. If you would like more tips about how to use Active Inspire, you can come up on the side of the math toolbox and click on this Insight Active Inspire Tips and you'll be taken to this area where there are several tips and videos for using Active Inspire. Thank you. For more insights, please visit www.nst.org/insight.